Hello YouTube, this is just a quick unboxing video on this crane scale because I couldn't find the information I wanted online. Let's get into it. So I've bought the cheapest 1000 kilogram crane scale I could find on eBay. But what I really didn't know and I couldn't find the information was whether it had room for batteries in it or not because it comes with a power adapter. So let's find out. This is the first thing you see, a big shackle with what looks like a turned down bolt because it's got a thread and a nut and a uh, split pin so that's a bit possibly overkill <laughs> so that's in the lid instruction manual yeah <laughs> that's interesting that's a sticker out, out shape and buttons so oh, I can see it there don't know if the camera's picking that up Underneath you can see the another, so I think the instructions were written for a different model, there's this sort of square behind. It's an orange one. Can you make it out? There you go, look. So this is obviously the same kit inside, but with a different case. Perhaps this is the new model or something. Oh, it's big. Look at that, it's big. It has a little remote. And this is my concern, it comes with a, ah, it says, it says lithium ion charger. Obviously I'd have to have an adapter or something for the UK. It's not a UK one. That's interesting. So I'm wondering if I can put batteries in it. That suggests it might already have batteries in it. So here it is, there's where the socket plugs in. Looks like it's got some packaging in it. And, um, yeah. Anyway, so there's four big screws. I can get the back off, presumably. It's quite huge. There's some wires sticking at the bottom. Which, uh, well, as long as it works, it doesn't worry me. It works. I'm hearing a noise. Goodness me, it's bright. Okay. Well, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that's incredibly bright to look at. I assume that'll be easier to look at when it's not in my hand, and it's a bit further away. Um, anyway, it's working. So, I bought this, really, it was only £55, I think, when I bought it on eBay. I bought it thinking I was, in the worst case, I was going to have to plug it in while I was weighing stuff, but in the best case, I was going to have to put batteries in it, which is what I wanted, but it's got batteries in it. And presumably, without saying lithium-ion charger on it, Presumably there's lithium-ion batteries inside here. Let's pull it. <laughs> it does something. <laughs> it does something. It also said, I think, 0.2 kilograms resolution, and it's clearly doing more than that, isn't it? It's doing odd numbers and even numbers, so that's doing 0.1 resolution, not 0.2, which is nice. Better than advertised. There you go. Oh, that's zero, so I must hold it down. And there it goes off. It's quite nice. I mean, it feels like cast, die cast, or something, die cast, cast aluminium maybe or something. Obviously, there's something heavy, juicy, and some steel, or it wouldn't be stainless, would it? It's probably anodized steel or something. Um, and a nice big hook with a, a safety thing. Right, folks, thanks for watching this far. Um, some details at the end, then I had a birthday, got some birthday money, and I've wanted one of these for a while. Uh, I went with a thousand kilogram because um, obviously I want to weigh some engines in upcoming projects, engines and gearboxes, and get some ideas of the weight of those things. But also, I've got a very heavy project down here, this huge trailer mounted machine here, which will come in uh, future videos. The reason I'm doing the video is because I couldn't find whether it had um, a slot in the back for batteries. I could see it came with a power adapter, but I didn't know whether you could get batteries in it. And it turns out it's got lithium-ion batteries, which is amazing. So there's other scales available. If you want some official sort of certification um, of accuracy, then you've got to pay well north of £300, really, for those. Uh, so this was only £55 at the time of purchasing. So obviously it's not going to be certified that accurate, but I just want a rough idea. I mean, to the nearest 10 kilos, really, is, is plenty. Um, so, yeah, as I say, if anyone's interested, I'll do some weighing comparison videos 
Um, I can at least weigh me on the bathroom scales, maybe, and then under this, uh, and Mrs. Laws even perhaps, and we we could um, see how accurate it is. Uh, heavier things. Well, I could pick up the front axle of the uh, the Land Rover. I don't know what it's meant to weigh, but we could see the thing working if you wanted to. Thanks for watching this far, folks. Uh, tune in for more. Oh, <laughs>